Right, gang, we're back. Oldham days again. And I'm saying again, we're going up. And this time, I bloody mean it. Go. Right, you were here last time. You'd seen us get the get the dollar dollar bills in for all those sales. No one really, other than... Uh, yeah, you were here, weren't you? you? You saw it live, the sale of Alan Walsh for £12.75 12 12 million pounds to Luton. Bye-bye, Alan. We won't miss you. So... Who have we bought in? Well, you were also here. You saw Mad 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 Madeline. Do you know what? I've only just realised his name's Madeline. I've been calling him in my own head Maladin because he's a lad. So, Maladin is his affectionate name. I can't pronounce that bloody surname. Are you having a laugh? Pavilovich? Pavilovich? Pavilovich. Hey, there you go. Smashed it. Sorry? No one correcting me. I've got it right. Yeah. Good potential. He was coming in. Centre back can play left back, and he's not the worst left back in the world. So, look, good person to have on the bench. Good person to have on the pitch. Injury prone, meh. Consistency, meh. One point nine million we paid for him, and he's worth now nine to eleven million. Look, if we sell him, we sell him. If we keep him for a bit, we keep him for a bit. Good squad option. Happy days. Next, Noah Jozak. Noah Jozak. Jozak. Noah. 2.3 million we paid for this guy. He's a right back who can also play defensive midfield. We've stopped playing defensive midfielders, so I brought him in as a bit of cover for like Joe Wormleyton and uh, Ndongola because they can both play left back as well. So I wanted someone to come in who could play full back, really. And he's good defensively. I, I I don't know why he can't play centre back. Maybe I might retrain him as a centre back. Mm, his heading's not probably not good enough, but good tackling, good technique. Anyway, good right back. I'm quite pleased with him. He's not as quick. Is like Ndongola. If we can, let's compare him to Ndongola, shall we? They're very different players, despite the fact they both play right back. Like, they could not be more different, could they? What are you going to do? Noah Jozak, two point three million pounds. Um, and yeah, I'll say it now. I was unsure when I bought him. His potentials come through. It's not the best. I think he's going to be a squad option, and I don't think we're going to recoup our money for him. I don't. I think he'll. I think he'll leave probably for free in maybe two or three years' time if that long. So anyway, look, he's, he'll do for now in the promotion season. Santiago Carballo, again, defensive midfielder, can play right back as well. Bought him more to play centre back. 16 tackling, 13 heading, 15 jumping reach, 20 determination. And he did have five star potential when I bought him. He's now got four star potential. So I am a bit livid at that. 1.5 million pounds we paid for him. So we're actually splashing the cash. We've broken our seasonal spend. Um, massively 7.5 million we've spent and we've done very well like if you look so we, of course previously we bought Zayak who's now worth between 11 and 16 million pounds who is he's not been great so I'd like to sell him Elliot Clark is now worth 13.5 to 15 million pounds and we paid what 625k we've just seen Maladin's about 10 mil Jozak about 5 mil but meh uh, Santiago Caballo between 5 and 6 mil uh, and then Gen Gen Genser Karakulic from Arsenal, yeah? His contract was expiring. He's now worth 13 to 14.5 million. 725k. 600 of that up front. Model citizen. Hello. Yes. Model citizen. I've bought him in. And I don't know where I want to play him really long term. Possibly attacking midfielder. Possibly central midfielder. At the minute, I'm just training him up as a box to box. Just to sort of round him out a bit. I just want to round out his attributes. Tackling's not good enough to be box to box. I know this. Chill your beans. Um, the reason I've been playing there as well is Rob Jenkins has been injured. So, yeah. He's done all right since he came in as well. He's done all right. Speaking of doing all right, check this out. So, it was 14th last time, wasn't it? It was 14th. Yes. Oh, you're joking. Oh, so arrogant. I had two players in the season's best 11. Um, unfortunately, it was um, James Taylor up front who's now been surpassed. But Julian Rojas, in defence, centre-back. He's on £4,800 a week. Change contract offer. What's that I hear you say? I've given him a bigger contract. And I'll tell you why. It's going to cost me fifteen grand a week. But he's decent Premier Division. Yeah? He's our best defender. He's in the, team of, he's in the media dream 11. So we need him. Yeah? That's, that's the first thing. We need him. He's 19. He's probably going to get even better. Probably going to increase in value. Why is he only worth that? Because he's got a minimum fee release clause of 13.25 million for domestic clubs in a higher division. Can't get rid of that. The new contract is 16.75 million. So if he does go in January, 
which I'm hoping he doesn't because he'll have only just signed a new contract because it's October. Yeah, up there for thinking. We will hopefully be in the Premier League. Therefore, that minimum free release clause does not exist because there is no club in a higher division. Am I a genius? No, most people would probably do that. But I am a genius. Let's say it. Let's say it together, gang. Right. Well, now the transfer business is all out of the way. Let's go check out the schedule. So after the 1-0 win against, was it Plymouth? And, uh, Sunderland in the opening game of the season, sorry. And then the 5-0 battering of Rochdale. James Taylor. First through against Wrexham in the fourth minute. 1-0. It didn't take long for him to get his second. 14 minutes in and he made it two. Game over already. And then just after the half hour mark, Mark Coles just outside the box. Beautiful finish. 3-0. Game over. Then, yeah, Plymouth on the brain. 0-0. No highlights to show you. I'm not going to show you these highlights. We won on penalties. It was about 8-7 on penalties. It was ridiculous. And look at this. 2-0 up against League 2 Yeovil. 92nd minute. 93rd minute. If we'd have lost this, I'd have been fuming. But that didn't, dip, that didn't make the form dip. No, no, no. Leighton Stewart with his first of the season against Birmingham. And it was Frank Pina who found James Taylor who made it too. And yeah, James Taylor has been amazing so far this season. He is the Kane Fuller love of two years ago. Who is Kane Fuller love, I hear you ask? Oh, he's this player that had a really good season for me. Decided he wanted to leave. Then didn't leave. Now he's got a minimum fee release clause for club... Uh, Non-relegation release clause. Non-promotion release clause. God, I remember. A non-promotion release clause of £12 million... He's had so many bids that have come in from different clubs. Still here. Still here and not scoring. Against West Brom, James Taylor found himself through again 1-0. And just after the hour mark, West Brom made it 1-1. One, one. But with quarter, of an hour to, uh, with quarter of an hour to go, James Taylor found Frank Pino who made it 2-1. And it was 3 in injury time. It was Karaklicic who had a shot. And Lovieri benefited from the ricochet and rebound. And it was 2-2 two two for Lorieri with the only goal of the game against Brentford, Kavanagh to Lashley Lloyd, to Karatlic again. It broke to him and almost like a carbon copy of the previous goal. I learned how to say Karatlic's name. Karatlic. Karatlic. There we go. And it was business as usual against Wigan. James Taylor with the first. It came across to him from Mark Coles. 1-0. And before half-time... After 38 minutes, James Taylor, watch this for a finish. I mean, was that a deflection? I don't quite know what happened there. It was a great goal though, wasn't it? And then Wigan went down to 10 men. It was game over. And Frank Pino with a great assist from James Taylor. So James Taylor is, like I say, two goals and assist in this game. He's just on fire. Yet Mark Cole's got man of the match. Work that one out. And then the Carabao Cup third round against Burnley. We came back into it. Premier League Burnley. Monsieur Pochettino's Burnley. No less. It was 16th in the Premier League. Adam Morris scored towards the end. Frank Pino with the goal. Frank Pino has been good as well. And in the last game of highlights today, there's one more game that we lost, but I won't be showing you. But anyway, against Preston, we won 4 1. James Taylor opening the scoring, as usual, 56 minutes in. Kane full of, there he is. Kane full of across, and he bundled back out to Davis, made it 2 0 after 70 minutes. You'd think there's not enough time to make this 4 1. Well, let me tell you, there was. A couple of minutes later, Kane full of finally breaks through. Popped it in the corner. Announces himself to the Oldham fans that he's still here. Carlish broke through. Or from Montoya, really. Doesn't deserve a clean sheet with saves like that. But there was still time for Kane Fuller to get his second. Joe Worm Leighton, who'd come on at left back. Great ball and good finish from Kane Fuller Love. Yeah. He's not been great. He's not been great. Kane Fuller Love. Annoying. And we just lost to Hull. The first defeat of the season. We are currently joint top of the league with Norwich City. And today... We come back for a double header. I've waffled on a lot, but we are back for a double header. Two games today. The first of which is against Coventry City. Premier League Coventry City, or as of last season, they were Premier League. They've just come back down, having pipped us to promotion the season before. So I've got a score to settle with Coventry, and they're currently 21st out of form. And then the following game is away at Norwich. Top of the table clash, us versus Norwich, which are... As, as it stands, the current runaway leaders, I say runaway leaders, three points in it. If we lose a game, many teams could go ahead of us. But yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Harrison Burrows is no longer worried about being replaced. I believe that he is happy with the amount of playing time he is receiving right now. Still injured. Returns in three days from his damaged cruciate li li knee ligament injury or whatever it was. He's been out for about nine months. He's been out the whole year. 
He hasn't played a minute. Oh, God, look how bad he's got. Was he always that bad? Oh, my God. Who else? We, um, Jack Clark. Elliot Clark, sorry. Right, Elliot Clark's so much better than Harrison Boyles. Harrison, look, he's worth sod all as well. And he's only on £2,600 a week. Harrison's probably going to be out the door. Rojas has accepted the contract. I don't know why I brought you back so early. Nine days till the next game. 16.75 million, sorry. Did I say 17 million before his minimum fee release clause? So he's from 15k a week. But as, a, as our key player and, and one of our better players, he's worth that. He is worth it. And we've got the money. We've got £9.3 million in the transfer budget. We've got committed spending 325k. We've got another 35k we can spend. And we've got £13.5 million in the bank. Why has that gone down so much this month? I'll tell you why. Youth facilities and training facilities are being upgraded yet again. The training facilities at Oldham have gone from strength to strength. Bloody love the training facilities. Biggest regret. Not selling Ashley Lloyd for about 12, 13 million pounds when I had the opportunity to. I was trying to be greedy getting 20 million. Uh, I really regret it because it was the season after we sold Jonathan Gosling and I didn't need the money at the time. I thought to myself, I'd like to try and get more money for Ashley Lloyd. Well, Jonathan Gosling, we, he's worth 8.2 to 9.6 million. So he's not kicked on anywhere near like he could have done. 10 million pounds that we got for him from a pound. The famous Jonathan Gosling. That was that was where the tide started to turn. And the fact is, is we have got over thirteen million pounds now in the bank, having just upgraded the training and youth facilities. Now the thing is, right, we've got Norwich and Coventry a couple of days apart. What do we do for Coventry? Out of form, but we're in the Premier League. Do we play? I won't say our second string team. Do, do we save a couple of people back for the Norwich game? Do we save James Taylor for Norwich? Do we save? Don't know. Well, for straight for a start, Cavan has got to come off. Leighton Stewart's been awful this season as well. One goal. He's not played well in the slightest. So I'm probably going to play him and Kane up front and then save James Taylor and Frank Pino for Coventry. Victor Chukwudi is probably going to be saved. Um, Rob Jenkins, I'm not sure exactly how much he can play because of his fitness because he's just come back from injury. We'll see on, I'll see on game day, but that's probably going to be the team for Coventry. Hang on. Coventry and Norwich have just played each other on the Wednesday. The Coventry might be a bit knackered. We have just come off a defeat. We have been in fantastic scintillating form. I don't think the fans like me still. So Norwich are playing Birmingham. So Norwich are playing a lot in a very short space of time. Alan Sander now. Rob Jenkins. Back to Sander. Back to Jenkins. Whips it across. Mark Coles doesn't get there and it's headed away by Bird. Rojas. New contract Rojas. Earns his money with a great little bit of play. Oh, Rojas, he's just 15 grand a week. Well spent, isn't he? Mark Coles. Oh, it's in. It's a goal for Kane, full of love. Slagging him off. And here he is coming up with the goal against Coventry. And you tap in, but still. Right place at the right time. Kane, full of love. 1 0. Coventry now coming back into it. Hanson Aaron. Spring it. Switches the play to Brooks. McManus. Oh, oh, the referee's not given a free kick for that. I thought that should have been a free kick. Gozak. Lucky not to give a foul away. He gives the ball away. Banja. Oh, and he's nodded back down by Jozak. Davis to Stewart. Leighton Stewart's... I was going to say, what's, what's the goalkeeper doing? Defender had it, clearly. Shambles of a highlight that was. Birmingham beating Norwich. Come on, Birmingham. Come on, Birmingham. Because we'd be top with a game in hand. And we'd be playing them next. I'm not getting too excited. Leighton Stewart here. Oh. Old has been rubbish, haven't I? I'd have mentioned how bad Leighton Stewart's been. Breaks my heart. Coles. Ugh. McCann. Rojas. Jenkins now. Rojas again. Jenkins. Kane full of loves in. Oh. Easy as you like. I'm playing Rojas. Should I be playing Rojas? Probably not. 
really want to play him against Norwich. I mean, look at that. They're knackered. We're not. Do I bring Rojas off and save him? I think we do. I think we do. And everyone else is just going to stay on. Because I'm pretty pleased with how people are playing. We're 2 0 up. Leighton Stewart's not doing very well. I would bring Leighton Stewart off, but I want to save uh, Frank Pino and James Taylor for the Norwich game. I don't need a goal. I can bring one of them on with maybe like 20 minutes to go if. Well, I was going to say if we need it. 3 0. Leighton Stewart's got himself an assist now. I was going to say, Kane Fullerhub has got a hat trick. He hasn't. He was offside. Oh, he was too eager. Too eager. Look at that. A brilliant finish. Kind of makes you want to play him against um, Norwich. You know what? I'm going to bring Kane Fullerhub off. And Mark Coles for Laurieri. And I'm going to bring off Rob Jenkins for Karaklic. Just to get some fresh legs out there. Birmingham is still beating Norwich as well. No more highlights. It's going to be game over. Oh. Caballo. Jozak. Lorieri. Into Kelly. To Davis. Oh, David. So rubbish. If we don't win this game now, I'll be so angry. Alan Davis is crap. So excited when I broke my record transfer to get him. Now, I'd let him go in a heartbeat. I haven't got anyone to replace him directly, although I've got players I could play in attacking midfield. But there we go. We are top of the league with a game in hand on Norwich. So if we lose to Norwich now, we are still going to be up there. But of course, that's coming in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to play Kane Fuller Love. He's still got full fitness. He's going to play Frank Pino. Unfortunately, he's going to miss out. Sorry, Frank. Rob Jenkins is also got the fitness, so he's probably going to play instead of Karakalic. The thing is, they're two very different players. Karakalic is better going forward, whereas Jenkins is a bit better defensively and quicker. Actually, do you know what? I think we're going to play Karakalic instead of Coles. Right. Tomorrow, McCann might have the fitness back. We'll see. If he doesn't have the fitness back, then Prulovic should play. McCann is back to fitness. I say Kane Fuller has been rubbish this season. He's got seven goals. James Taylor, who I've been singing his praises, he's only got eight. Kane Fuller has got six starts, seven goals, four of those off the bench. Four of these appearances, sorry, off the bench. They both played ten times. So maybe I need being a bit harsh on Kane Fuller Love. But then I suppose the hat trick of it was against Rochdale, wasn't it? And we've just seen him score two against Coventry. So that's five of his six goals. Seven goals, eight goals. I don't know. Anyway, he's playing. I've given the nod. He's doing well. Oh, here, come Car here come Norwich. Montoya with a safe pair of hands. I'm not sure about Montoya. I always find it hard getting a goalkeeper. And... Yeah. Oh. He's doing okay at times. He's a bit inconsistent for me. And... I feel like I could do with someone better, but it's one of those things that I'm not I'm not sure when you when you when you try and buy a goalkeeper, it's, I'm always a bit all over the place. Like outfield players. Rakalic anyway with a free kick. He's gonna shoot here, isn't he? Over the bar. Krakalic with the corner now. To the near post. To Rojas. I'd take a draw away at Norwich tell you now i'd take a draw because it's a very difficult game whether norwich will still be there come the end of the season who knows but at the moment they are up there and it's no it's away from home any match avoiding defeat is decent in my opinion especially one of this magnitude of course we do want to be winning more more games than we're not naturally to go up but importantly it's you've got to avoid defeat We're one nil down. We've given him a berating. We've not been very good. Right. So Elliot Clark for Joe Wimlayton straight away. Aim full of love for Frank Pino. And you know what? I'm going to play Karaklic and I'm going to play him as a deep lying playmaker on support. Uh, and then I'm going to bring on Laurieri for Chuck Rudy there. 
Rob Jenkins is staying on by the skin of his teeth. So Zayak, to be honest. Alan Davis and Zajak, Zayak, whatever. They, but neither of them have been very good in that number 10 role. I'm almost at the point where I might sack off the number 10 and maybe try and change things up a bit. But we are winning. We're, we're doing well. It, it seems a shame to make changes when it's, it seems to be working on the whole. Frank Pino now. Reckless. Zayak. James Taylor. Fine. Oh, Frank! James Taylor had the right idea. Frank looked like he was on his bike and then he decided to pull out of the run. Worm Leighton. Laurieri. Great ball from Worm Leighton. Laurieri loses out. Can. Laurieri now. Find the pass. Zayak, who's been awful, as I've been saying. But he finds the pass. James Taylor. And I'll tell you what, fair play, Zayak. I was slagging him off. On about getting rid of the position. Well, he popped up. Didn't he? Instead of going for glory, he decided to go for the assist. I'll, I'll accept that. 1-1. One, one. McCann is losing fitness rapidly. I think I might bring him off. After this highlight, Laurieri now. Zayak. Oh, Zayak. Jenkins goes to Taylor and it's back to Norwich. Harry. Get up there. That's it. James Taylor. Zayak to Laurieri. Frank Pino, find James Taylor, or finish. Does neither. Frank. Oof. Zayak's not doing very well at all today. But he has got the assist. He does keep that alive. Jenkins. It's somehow gone in. Laurieri has been credited with the assist. I don't think that's correct. I think that's a little bit of a glitch in the nameplate. James Taylor's popped up with another, with, a, with the most unusual goal. I think we'll all see today. Because this is the end of the episode. Um, I don't know what goalkeepers in no man's land. First off, I'm slagging off Montoya. Then he's not good enough. Well, better than green. Hey, the grass isn't always greener. Oh, he's only gone and done it, hasn't he? Gareth McCann. Why is everything all over the place here? Eh? Uh, Maladin. That's four changes, so we're going to keep the one change in our back pocket in case we get an injury. I don't want to go down to ten men. So we're 2-1 up. We are 2-1 up against Norwich. Away from home. And look at that. Look at the stats. XG 2.04 to 0.79. We bloody deserve it, don't we? More possession. Lovieri with a free kick. Into Rojas over the bar. That's the one thing we're missing, an absolute fantastic header of the ball from, from set pieces. We really aren't utilising set pieces to their full potential. But that's fine. 2-1, we've only gone and pulled it back. And that is absolutely brilliant. James Taylor gets an 8.9. Give him some praise. I was going to say, I wonder how Kar Karakalic did as the deep line playmaker. Well, he got a 6.7, so not the best. Not the best. But that's it. That's the end of the episode. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. When will we be back? Well, I don't know. Somewhere in December, maybe? Or do we go back, Do we go towards January? We'll see, won't we? I'm not... When we know it's Coventry again. Won't be that double header again. But we'll see. I'll play a bit. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back when I feel an appropriate time to come back. But as I say, thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Take care. I'll see you soon.